Well, how do their chums? Today, chums, I'm hitting up No Man's Sky, but I'm going to be starting a fresh game. So let's just jump on over and I'll explain why I'm starting a new game. So, Professor Cynical, Ricey, and I have come up with an idea. Now, the basic premise is we find ourselves a planet that looks like the planet from Light No Fire. And we're going to play the game as if we're in Light No Fire. So I'm just going to hit this up, uh, not custom, I want creative. If I hit up creative mode to start out with, it's going to give me all the portal glyphs and all the base parts. So the only base parts I can use as a general rule is just the rock pieces, stone and wood, because we can only make bases that look like those in the Light No Fire trailer. Okay, right, so I've appeared decated, and this is my general look. Lovely jubbly. Not quite a like a no a light no fire character really. I could go sort that out. So I just I'm just gonna go up to the station and I'm just gonna jump in an appearance modifier to make my character look how I want my character to look. Um because the whole idea of this is we're not to use technology in ships once we actually get to the actual planet. But first I've got to get to the planet, which means finding a portal and all that sort of lovely stuff. Now I'm putting this video together. Because technically, you can come and join us. And you can come and build upon the actual planet as well. But just stick to the general rule. No metal. No metal bases. Heck no. And you've got to make them look like the buildings that we saw in Light No Fire. You know, you could try and make a castle, an old whimsical windmill or something like that. But it has to be in keeping with the actual theme of what we're going for, people in the viewerverse. Okay? Heck yeah! Okay! Okay, so another rule is that you can't install any technologies into your multi-tool exosuit, anything like that, unless you find it on a planet, on the planet, the planet in question. And yeah, we're going to be ditching our ship as soon as we arrive on that planet, and probably going to just leave mine by the portal or something. Or probably find a nice place to put a base in proximity or whatever to, you know, good old Professor Cynical. Anyway, I'm not too sure where the appearance modifier is on here anymore, so that's going to take me a while to find. Okay, chums, well, I think I've got my little alien, you know, I haven't really gone for a proper backpack. I've tried to make him look as medieval as I possibly could, and I've gone for more of an organic look, a little bit like Light No Fire. So there we go, save my changes, and that's my little dude done, I guess. So that's that part done. Now what I need to do is I need to get some maps, some cartography maps, for alien structures, people inside the viewerverse. So here we go. It's because now I've got to find a portal, and this is the easiest way to find a portal. I need to find a monolith. So here we go, and I'm going to go for a specific charts, and I want the alien one. And I'm just going to grab 99 of them. There we go. Chicka-boom. Coolio. Right. Don't need any more than that. Okay. And then inside of my shippity ship, inside of my starship right here, I am just going to install... A scanner which is the economy scanner that's gonna help me no end in locating a trading post which I'm going to need and come to think of it I'm gonna ditch a load of these there you go I got 40 on me and after I managed to find what I'm looking for I'm probably gonna ditch the rest because I want it to be completely fair I don't want to have anything that I shouldn't have right oh so first I need to go to a trading post so if I fly out of here doesn't matter which planet I go to Papa Chow! Run over there. Train post. Locate train post. Trading post mentecticated. Where are you, trading post? Over there! And we're on our way! Hurrah and hooray! Okay, I'll see you down at the trading post, chums. Go! I guess! Tally ho! Okay, now I'm at a trading post, I just have to wait for visitors to fly in. There's a visitor right there. Okay, right, I haven't got much jetpack strength. Oh no! I missed! Dang it! Okay, right, oh, I've got to climb. Okay, that's embarrassing, isn't it, people? Right. Righto, I'm heading up to one of these pilots. Don't you fly away, you get? Hello. Yes, I'm after your trinkets, my friend. Offer to trade. And I just want to buy these things. So I want to buy one of them. One of them. Okay, I'll have the two. All right, cool. There we go. 
Right, now those charts that I've got, let's see if we can find ourselves a monolith. Zoom! Have we found a monolith? Alien artifact. Nope, that's not what we want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not what I want. Da, 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 da. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's try again. Zoom! Huzzah! Huzzah! Be a monolith, dang you. Alien artifact detected. You're not a monolith either. Sometimes it's the first one. When I'm not recording, it's the first one. You know, it, it, it's the game trolling me. There we go. Come on. B A monolith. Alien monolith. Detect and locate it. Third time lucky. Huzzah. Yeah, right. Lock that in. Go in my shippity ship. I hope this planet that Professor Cynical has found for us, this planet that looks like Earth and looks like the planet from the Light No Fire trailer, I am hoping it has flying mounts, people. Because, you know, Light No Fire had flying mounts. I would very much like a flying mount. If it hasn't got flying mounts, I might have to hit up a portal code and go grab myself a beetle or something. You know, that'd be quite lovely, wouldn't it? I suppose we could always have Miyogi come visit us and gift us with some flying mounts. That might be an idea. Or maybe somebody else in the verse could come visit us and gift us some flying mounts. You could be an NPC. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, jump on over here. Dilly dilly dee! I guess. Eck burner black and blue again. Okay, yeah, I, um, yeah, I'll wait for those metal spiders. Thank you very much. Yes, I've learned a word of the Atlas. And now, all I need to do is locate portal. There you go. And give it the Corvax case and then I got at the trading post. See, there's a method to my madness, people. There's a method. Right, now we should have a portal. There it is, the Whirlyman Twirly one. Chicka boom. Okay, right. Now, people, I don't know whether we're at a point where we, we are able to share out the portal code as yet. I think we need to get established, me, Ricey, and Professor Cynical. We need to understand a few ground rules of what's going on ourselves before we start inviting all and sundry over. But I think we're nearly there. I just, I'm a bit nervous about giving you the portal code now until we've actually established exactly what we're going to be doing. All right, so let's just fly on down here. And um, I'll punch in the portal coordinates, and I'll see you at the opposite side of the portal. But trust me, I will be putting out the portal code relatively soon for all of you to get in, into and enjoy it with us, people. Because that's what we want to do. Okay, well, because I'm still in creative mode, I can just recharge up the portal. And I should have all the portal glyphs, because I started in creative mode as well. So that's the whole point of doing it in creative mode and having this new save. Lovely, Sentinel's inbound, and this is where I'm going to have to cut away to key in the portal code, people. Okay, chums, well, I have arrived decated, and wow, this does look very cool. Ah, oh, this is very Earth-like. Well done, Cynical. Is there any trees on this poxy planet, though? But it says most perfect. Nice one. Heck yeah, this is coolio. Right. Now, I know that Professor Cynical has put down a base somewhere on this planet. But where? Where? Oh, wow. Oh, he's got some cool creatures here. I mean, that is not your usual beastie, is it? Okay, well, this is where I need to change this game mode now. So, options. And I need to go to difficulty. And for now, it's just going to be normal mode. But after we've got established, and after we're quite comfortable, and after the community's here, we are thinking about setting a battleground. Then going into permadeath, and annihilating each other. I mean, we don't really know what we're going to do exactly, because we don't really know what the premise is of freaking Light No Fire, and I don't know whether I'm allowed to tame any pets or anything like that right now. And I'm trying to spot where Professor Cynical's base is, because he says he's put down a base somewhere on this planet. Hmm. Okay, and he did Bagsy the South, so I know that he wants the South, so I might as well go North. 
Okay, well what I might do is just mark this with a save beacon anyway. Just in case we do need to get back to the portal. While we're still sort of coming up with ideas for this. I was hoping to see more trees, to be honest. Okay, oh great, I'm not in creative mode anymore, am I? Let's just put it back into creative for a little bit longer. Until I get to where I want to be. Okay, here we go. Let's put down a safe beacon right there. I'll make a red and white one. That's my logo colours. And kapow. Make a little save. So at least I can come back here now. And I'm going to take to the skies. And you know, Cynical's a bagsy the north of the planet. I guess good old Ricey can have like the middle. And I'd have the far north of the planet, I guess. Let's have a look at where I am on the actual planet right now. So I'm right on the actual cusp at the moment. So this is roughly where Rice is going to be. I need to be somewhere up there. Okay. And good old Cynical is going to be down there somewhere. All right, here we go then. Let's fly north. So basically, you see at the moment, it's going minus. As soon as I get to that plus area, then I know that I'm in the north. And I guess I'm going to have to go like plus maybe 30 into the north. Rice is going to probably be bang on the zero zero. Yeah. And then I guess good old cynical is going to be like minus, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, let's go. Minus 30, I guess. But it would be nice to have a place where we can convene that's sort of like in between all of us. That's in relative. We're not going to be using our ships after we've got to our locations. We're going to be using mounts. So that's why I'd like to have a flying mount, because this planet looks freaking crazy, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll let you know when I reach where I've got to get to. Okay, chums, well, I've made it into the north. So if I go maybe, what, five plus U's into the north, if Rice is bang on, you know, the zero type area, and then Cynical's minus five or something, at least we're far enough away from each other. So if we do want to encounter each other, it's not going to take us a month for Sundays. Oh... No. Yeah, I think that works quite nicely. So anyway, I'm nearly at plus five. So we are plus four. So close to the plus five area. Okay, I think this will do. Is that a little pond down there? Or is it just... No, it's just some markings on the land. I thought that would have been a nice little area for my base. I wouldn't mind having a little patch of water if possible. So I'm just going to look for an idyllic location. Are you an idyllic location? I thought that might have been then. Are you water? I don't think you are, are you, mate? No, you're just sort of like some land tears. Oh, look, we've got a little pond there. This would do me. This looks like a nice little area for a farm, doesn't it? All right, well, I'll slap my ship over here somewhere, but the ships are not to be used. So I might build like a little shed round it or something just to hide it and obscure it from view. Now, the nice thing about starting in creative mode is I've actually got every single base part known to man. Pretty darn freaking lovely. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to be building my base down here by that little pond. And I'm going to make it look like a little mini farm. That's what I'm thinking, people. Let's see if I am in the north. I am in the northern hemisphere. So, you know, you'd have Ricey somewhere in the equator line. And then you'd have, you know, good old Cynical somewhere down there. And, yeah, basically, when we do give you the actual portal coordinates, the idea is you come over to where one of us are and you build in close proximity to us. So we have like a little homestead, we have a little meeting point. So if you can build as close as you can to my base, that's perfectly fine. And if, if you are building, don't like go crazy and build a massive metropolis or something. You know, keep it in reason, you know, keep it, keep it in keeping with everything else that you see and aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna build myself a lovely little hut here or something. In fact, I might just put down a base computer and then I'm going to speak to Ricey and um, Cynical and find out exactly what's going on, whether they've actually got here. Well, I know right, Cynical has already, but I don't know about Ricey yet. And I'll find out when we're going to start building our bases and what's going on. Because right now, this is where I'll be putting it into normal mode. And I'll be having to harvest all of the actual stuff myself. There's no duping allowed. There's no save editing allowed. There's none of that cheatiness and stuff like that going on. So I will be doing a follow-up episode soon of me going out and getting all the resources I need and gathering what I need to actually make this into a lovely little homestead. Yeah, 
this is a beautiful planet you found, Cynical. Good job. But there's no freaking trees! Okay? Um, which I was hoping to see trees. But there we are. You, you know. Oh, well. It's quite a lovely planet, though. Let's, let's, um, let's pop it into normal mode. And let's just have a quick look-see, shall we? So, normal mode. And let's have a better look at this, this planet. Let's see how awesome it is. So, Sentinels are enforcing. But there's not many of them, I guess. Oh, bloody hell. And the weather, scolding cloud bursts occasionally. Lovely. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to pet one of those birds and have that as a flying mount. But that would be awesome if I could. Right, oh. Okay, right. Well, um, I've got some lovely creatures to choose from by the looks of things. Porcupines. Weird hammerhead creatures. There's a, there's a plethora of creatures that we can use as mounts, which is good. Right, okay. Well, um... I think I'm just going to go jump in my ship and out of my ship just to make another save before I end off. But that's pretty much it, people. So that's how you can find yourself a portal. That's how you can get established in creative mode. And I will be giving out the portal code at some point. And it would be nice if you guys, if you want to support me, come along and build here as well. Especially if we are going to be swapping this into permadeath and having a big showdown at some stage. It'd be nice to have you guys on the side of Captain Steve because basically the last person standing wins, basically. And then we're going to do all this over, all over again, but we're probably going to do it on a neighbouring planet in the same system. So this planet, it's only got three planets. So whoever wins the Battle Royale on here wins it for their faction. Hold on, I need to jump back into game. So yeah, there's three planets, yeah. So the idea is whoever wins the battle royale, say if Cynical, was uh, one of Cynical's team is the last man standing, or last lady, then they win this planet. That becomes their planet. And then we're going to use the portal and jump to the next planet or this planet. And we can do the same again on these planets, almost like it's a different biome of Light No Fire. And uh, yeah, we're going to link the regions together. And we're going to see who of out of us has the most planets by the end of it. Um, so I might rename the whole system and I'm going to call it Light No Fire. Okay? It's a Light No Fire system. Yeah, a bit like Light No... Oh, yeah, the Light No Fire system. I was going to call it something like No Man's Fire or something like that, but I call it Light No Fire. Sod it. There you are. Light No Fire system. Cool, you. There we go. And uh, this planet, I don't know what we're going to call that. I'm going to have to speak to Ricey. And, and, uh, but at least you know if you're in the right system, if you arrive at Kate anyway. If you come across it by freaking accident, that'd be mental, wouldn't it? Oh, there is another base here already. Oh, no, that's my base, isn't it? Yeah, that's my base. Okay, call you out. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump in my ship. Out of my ship. Boom. Okay, right. Now I better turn this off. Yeah, call you out. Uh, exit, exit, quit, select, lovely jubbly, yes. So there we go, people. We're going to be playing this like it is light, no fire. So we're not going to be intentionally upgrading any of our tech. The multi-tool is going to be very basic. So we're just going to have whatever's in there at the moment, which is probably just a mining laser. So when it does come down to combat, you know, hopefully you've managed to find a few things in some old technology buckets. Maybe you might get lucky and get a weapon, but yeah, you might not. And then you might just have to melee attack people and stuff. You know, we haven't got shields, so it could be a one-hit kill. It's going to be freaking mental when we get to that stage anyway, people. But that's a long way away. First, we're going to be building some outposts, building some buildings. We're going to be comparing our wonders catalogues to each other to see who's found the best creatures on this planet and all that sort of shaz. And we're going to be looking to see who can find the best treasure. So going to relic sites, hunting for treasure, finding finds in our regions, finding waypoints in our regions. It's, we're hoping to catalogue more of the echoes of yesterday. So monoliths, plaques and our relic sites. They're the main winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who can find the best of those sort of things? And yeah, it's going to be... We might allocate points to each other. Don't know how we're doing this. This is what we're still trying to work out. We don't know what Light No Fire is all about, but we do know that they're going to have things like the player that's found the highest mountain or the player that's gone the longest distance. That sort of shenanigans. So we're going to try and replicate that best we can. Best we can, people. 
Okay, and then we hopefully want to try and get as many players as we can for the showdown, just to see how many people we can get on a server instance. Mainly because Hello Games boasts that on next gen, PlayStation 5 and Xbox and PC, all the next gen versions, can host 32 player lobbies. I'm still questioning that, and I want to put that to the test. Because Light No Fire looks like that's going to have a lot of players. And the main aim is to have these little mini homesteads, build it up, explore. That's what we're doing. That's how we're going about it. That's why we're going to stick to just wood and stone. If you are going to come here, please stick to the wood and stone idea and aesthetic. Don't upgrade your tech. Come here like I just did with a fresh save in the same way that I just did. And that's pretty much it, basically. I mean, yeah. Coming soon will be the portal code, so if this appeals to you, hit that notification bell, make sure you're subscribed, and keep locked in, because it will be coming extremely soon. I guess, salute to Mondo, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Up in space, up in no man's sky, there is one hell of a guy, his name is Ricey and he has a starship emporium, his ship hunting videos are super awesome. He has backed my YouTube channel for over 34 months. Right, see, thank you for top of the trumps. As in the cards, not the president. Thank you, mate, for going that extra yard. And being a member, thank you, Ricey. Check out Ricey's YouTube channel. Oh!